In order to marry her rich boyfriend, the woman took the risk of going for cosmetic surgery. The woman is not expected to be turned into a monster by the plastic surgery agency. Shelly originally looked quite pretty, with good features and a nice body, but there is a long scar on her face, which was left by a car accident when she was two years old. This scar has been with her for a full 20 years. Whenever she saw other people's white and flawless faces, she was envious. By chance, she was introduced by a friend to a rich boy, handsome and rich, and very gentle. In short, all aspects make Shelly feel very satisfied. If she scored 100 out of 100, she could give 120 out of 100. But once she thought of her own face scars, she fell into a deep inferiority complex, thinking that she was not worthy of this man. I didn't expect the other party didn't care about this. The rich boy said he was definitely not that superficial. He values the inside rather than the skin. The two soon established a relationship. The boyfriend really loves her and will not shy away from expressing his love to her in public, preparing small surprises for her from time to time and buying a venue to watch a movie. Shelly would often feel that this thoughtful boyfriend was her dream husband and even had a baby name in mind. However, what comes around always comes around. This day, her boyfriend wanted to take her to meet her parents. Shelly was caught off guard because she wasn't ready. Although her boyfriend doesn't mind her, she doesn't know his parents' feelings yet. What if after the meeting, the parents are not satisfied and force money on her to leave her boyfriend? The boyfriend seemed to see her concern and thoughtfully said that he had already told his mother about Shelly's situation. The mother said it didn't matter as long as her son was satisfied, but the ghost of a man's mouth deceiving people. One second said it was okay. The next turn of phrase said to Shelly, if you really have a psychological burden, you can go to plastic surgery. It just so happens that he knows a regular cosmetic surgery facility that is very expensive, but the results are very good. His mother also had low self-esteem about her appearance, but then went to this cosmetic surgery facility and now became incredibly beautiful and confident. In order to dispel Shelly's doubts, her boyfriend also said he could pay for all the surgery and take her to meet her parents after she recovered from the surgery and then hold a glamorous wedding. In front of the huge temptation, Shelly's heart was moved. The next day, she couldn't wait to go to this legendary cosmetic surgery facility. The place looked well-equipped and well-furnished. The doctor gave her an initial assessment and confidently said that the scars were nothing and had a 95% chance of being removed. Shelly was already imagining what she would look like when she became a beautiful woman. The doctor said that if Shelly wanted, she could also have her face fine-tuned, with a nose job, chin, and cheekbones. By then she'll be the most beautiful person in town, and all the procedures are painless. The entire purchase is paid for by your boyfriend. Shelly was even more impressed after hearing that, after all, everyone has a love of beauty. She immediately agreed to the doctor's plan, and the surgery was scheduled for tomorrow. After a long night of waiting, Shelly laid down on the cold operating table, but after all, it was an operation on her face. She was still a little nervous. The doctor rushed to reassure her that she would be fine after the anesthesia and a good night's sleep. Unbeknownst to her, her nightmare was about to begin. The woman's beautiful face has a long scar, and she often feels inferior about it. In order to marry her rich and handsome boyfriend, she came to the Beauty Institute for surgery, dreaming of turning from Cinderella into Snow White. After the anesthesia, Shelly falls into a coma and the doctor starts the surgery. In a trance, Shelly dreams that she is wearing a white wedding dress. Her face has become flawlessly white, and she is walking confidently in the wedding venue. On the stage stood her handsome boyfriend, and they looked at each other with affection, as if everything had come true. But when she looked at him, he had turned into a surgeon with blood on his hands, looking at her with a strange smile. Shelly was surprised to see that the surgery had been completed, and her entire head was wrapped in bandages. With her boyfriend and the nurse watching over her, Shelly tells her boyfriend about the nightmare she had just had, and he speaks soothingly to her, and she calms down, seemingly because the drugs have not yet worn off. Shelly fell asleep again, but her boyfriend changed his sweet face and took out his phone to take a picture of Shelly, and then sent it to her mother, asking her opinion. Shelly was in a daze when she noticed that her boyfriend was talking to the doctor about something. When she woke up, they looked nervous and stopped talking immediately. The doctor then came in and told Shelly that due to the surgery on your nose, your body is not getting enough oxygen, which is normal after a major surgery, and that you just need to have another repair surgery, which is scheduled for tomorrow. Shelly was a little confused and wanted to ask about the situation, but her mouth felt like it was sealed, so she didn't say anything for half a day. After the doctor left, she thought about what was wrong and tried to call her family to tell them, but found that the phone was not working. 
when she rang the pager again, the nurse on the other end was extremely impatient and told her to talk about it tomorrow. As the doctor wouldn't let her talk much after the surgery, Shelly felt more and more strange, recalling all the details. This place does not look like a regular cosmetic surgery facility. At the end of the night, she tossed and turned and finally decided to find out what was going on. She pulled the needle out of her hand and cautiously walked out of the hospital room. The hospital aisles were dark and somewhat eerie. Shelly stumbled and groped her way to the end of the hallway. where she found a nurse on night duty answering a phone call and then leaving. Shelly couldn't help but be curious and went up to her. She found the patient's information on the computer, and after looking through the pages, she found herself. She was surprised to find a big secret. From that information, she did not need another surgery because of insufficient blood oxygen, but because her boyfriend disliked her ugly face and asked the doctor to perform a second surgery. After knowing the truth, Shelly couldn't help but feel scared. It seems that her apparently gentle boyfriend is also a big pig's foot. Now she just wants to get out of this place. But this hospital is like a maze. It was hard to find the exit. But with all her strength, she could not open it. At that moment, she faintly heard the sound of a cry for help. In the middle of the night, the hospital hallway, it was a bit scary. But she still had the courage to follow the direction of the sound to find. Pushed open a room, found a black bag inside. There seemed to be a person struggling inside. Driven by curiosity, Shelly opened the back. The scene shocked her for a hundred years. A woman has been made to look like a man. Five features except for the mouth all disappeared. Turned into a veritable faceless man. The mouth kept crying for help. Shelly was terrified. She couldn't care less now. She just wanted to get out. She stumbles out of the room and runs into a nurse. There was an awkward moment when they looked at each other. The nurse sees her running out and tries to catch her. But Shelly gets to her first. Picks up a glass bottle and smashes it on the nurse's head. The nurse instantly fell to the ground with her head bleeding. Shelly hurriedly searched her body for the access card. Unexpectedly, the nurse was still conscious, and they struggled together. Shelly's instinct to escape makes Shelly's combat power explode, picking up the nurse directly and knocking her to the ground with one punch. She finally got the access card and managed to get on the elevator. The elevator is emitting eerie lights. Will Shelly be able to escape or not? This woman with a scar on her face is about to meet her boyfriend's parents. But she is worried that her boyfriend's parents are not satisfied with her. So she goes to a cosmetic surgery facility to have surgery. But unbeknownst to her, this is all a plot by her boyfriend. In the plastic surgery facility, Shelly finds a woman who has been completely disfigured. After noticing that something is wrong, she rushes to escape in the elevator. But when the elevator door slowly opened, Shelly was desperate. The doctor and nurse seemed to have been waiting for her for a long time. And before she could resist, a shot of anesthesia was injected. Shelly instantly fell into a coma. In a trance, she was lying on a cold operating table again, and the doctor was preparing various surgical tools. Shelly tried to scream, but she couldn't move at all. She was now like a lamb to the slaughter, at their mercy. When she woke up again, her boyfriend was waiting anxiously by her bedside. Shelly was in a state of panic. You, you wanted more. It was your idea. Her boyfriend tried to reassure her, saying that everything would be fine. When you're better, we'll get married. My mother has prepared a beach house for us as a new house, and said he went out to call his mother. Shelly noticed the mirror on the side, and she scrambled to undo the bandages, and was horrified to find that she had been made into a monster, unlike a man or a ghost. What did they do to me? I'm a fucking freak! She broke down, but couldn't cry because her face was stiff. Just then, the boyfriend's mother walked in. As the boyfriend said, his mother is a big beauty. The whole face is like a piggyback. Seeing Shelly's strange face, the boyfriend's mother expressed great satisfaction. Lovely, it's just wonderful. It turns out that the boyfriend's mother is also a plastic surgery monster, and especially like this kind of deformed face. Over time, under the influence of his mother, the boyfriend's aesthetic also gradually became deformed and eventually turned into a deformity fetish. The camera shifts. Shelly returned to the movie theater where she was dating her boyfriend, but it has disappeared. Shelly is the only one in the large cinema. Suddenly, she notices dark shadows flickering in the projection room. She cautiously goes to the projection room and finds a strange man. Shelly asked who he was, and the man replied coldly that he was a nightmare projectionist, specializing in collecting people's nightmares. Just now the big screen is playing, it's Shelly's nightmares, and once people enter the nightmare theater, they can never get out. 